Yeah, mate. All right. We've arrived right, right at the second leg. Feeling confident? Always. Yeah, yeah. Always. It's only 18. So? Yeah, it's nothing. It's 18. Yeah. We pulled 10 back in three races the other week. We can do it again. Yes, but this is a significantly better opposition, would you not say? No. Okay. All, all the teams are built to a uh, you know, 42 point limit. It's exactly the same. No problem. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Paul starts tips up. Parade time here at the Echo Arena. Steve, where's the vice? Where's the vice? I've got the job. I've got the job. Good morning, Winchell. Ready to parade? Yep. Wonderful. It's rude not to look at someone when you're speaking to them. Mm. How are you feeling in yourself? Sore. Sore. Yeah. 17 7 up, 8 behind an aggregate. Unbelievable race in heat number four. Right and Pickering both up against the fence. Pickering crashes, gifting Anderson second and Bears 5 1. Can't even do for the Monarchs, courtesy of Marston Fredrickson. And a 4 2 for the Bears now. 3 all means the Bears are 8 ahead on the night. 10 behind an aggregate. Can the Bears do it? Important heat eight, killer heat eight for the Bears, five one the Monarchs, three three in heat nine, and a four two with Cass Branson impressively winning heat ten. Twelve behind could deal with another heat advantage. Clark, here. Hello, hello. Unfortunately for the Bears, it's not going to plan. Okay, but it is. We're six points up, and we're only in heat twelve. We don't normally come good till the last three races. It was going well in the early stages, better than now in the early stages, and then we had... Yeah, 3 5 ones in the last three races, and that'll be 18, we'll go to Super Heat and win. Going into Heat 12, man on form for the Bears is Casper Anderson, he's going out with Leon Flint. Oh, All right, Casper. Bears, 12 behind in aggregate, realistically this needs to be fine. We can finish with at least one point in the next two races. They will take their place in the semi-finals. Bears need a miracle, but they put up a great, great fight. Five, one, four, the Monarchs need 15 means they have secured their place in the semi final Disappointing night overall for the Bears, Casper. Yeah, very. Um, it's just, I, I, I don't want to say we lost to a better team, because if you ask me, we didn't. We uh, we lost because of bad luck. And um, But at the end of the day, they won. And yeah, we can't change that. We just have to... Uh, Keep our heads up because we have a cup final to look forward to. After a tough night last night, you rode really well tonight. Yeah, it was just. I knew when I woke up this morning that I had a job that I had to go <laughs> and do. Um, and yeah, it was just to get stuck in right through the pain barrier, really, and just uh, yeah, keep plucking away. But can't win it alone, and we were just unlucky tonight as well. So. I'm going to give you the last word in the Rick Speedway vlog. How did you enjoy your evening? It's good. Uh, all your fingers all right Splinter. Splinter. Are you more respectful to the bosses than you are to other people? <laughs> well, I know who my bosses are.